Today we're working on a 2008 Pontiac Torrent. Customers complaining of a little bit of bump steer. <clears throat> bump steer is when you're driving down the road and you hit a bump and you can feel it in the steering wheel. The steering wheel kind of kind of shakes a little bit left to right. Now normally bump steer is a good indicator of a tie rod issue or some kind of a toe or toe in or toe out. Um, all of which are alignment related, but a lot of things can throw that off. A lot of different suspension components uh, in the back end, the front end, it doesn't really matter. If you got bump steer or you're hitting bumps and the steering wheel's kind of jerking, which <clears throat> here in Michigan, super, super common because our roads are horrible. So uh, if you live in the Rust Belt, like I know uh, Wisconsin's roads are pretty bad too, but I'm just going to run you through some things to check over. Uh, first things first, we're going to take the tire, one hand here and one hand over here, and we're going to kind of pry it back and forth, okay? Now what that does <clears throat> is it checks our tie rod ends and our tie rod inners. So if you feel a little bit of slop there, um, and by slop I mean like it's kind of clunking, like clunk, 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 clunk. It won't even be that much. It'll probably be like a click, click, click just barely moving it. Um, that's a good indication of a tie rod issue. So there's an inner and an outer tie rod. This is the outer tie rod. This is the inner tie rod. The inner tie rod back in here, back behind this boot, is kind of like a, a shoulder socket. So there's like a real big nut and it kind of turns on a little stub. So um, this is how you check your inner and outer tie rod, you just grab a hold and you kind of push it back and forth and you kind of shake it. This one's pretty tight. If it wasn't, you'd see a little bit of movement here or maybe feel it. Uh, you'd feel like a click, click, click. And you don't have to really muscle it. You don't want to, uh, if you turn this real hard one way or the other, it'll actually start turning the steering wheel. So you don't want to go that hard on it. You just want to grab this, give it a little bit of up and down motion and then in and out to check those and that's how you check your tie rod so between taking that tire and kind of wiggling it back and forth like this with two hands i can't show you both hands because my other hand's holding the, the camera but if you take the tire as if this were the tire and you kind of push it pull it push it pull it push it pull it and make sure you do it um pretty pretty in and out. You don't want to go like up here. You want to make sure you're over here on the side uh, because that's where you'll get the most torque uh, specifically on this joint right here and on the inside. This is actually um, part of the inner tie rod here and then this jam nut tightens up this outer tie rod onto the inner tie rod. So that's how that works. Now a couple other suspension checks what we, what we can do while we're down here. This little stub mount back here that thing looks to rot out uh, it actually looks pretty good. It's got a couple rubber isolators in it. And what you're looking for there is dry rot, cracks. Uh, it'd be pretty obvious if it was broken or chewed up. Uh, the other thing that's real common here in Michigan is this sway bar end link here. Um, these are both kind of those same sockets as the, as the one here on the outer tie rod. And you just take this. Do the same kind of thing, kind of move it back and forth, up and down, see if there's any uh, clunks or clicks or anything like that. Uh, the specifications for those are like 0 0.06 inches. Basically, if you can move that at all or hear anything, it's time to replace it. Um, last but not least for this car, um, aside from checking you know, that bushing down there for the control arm, and this little guy right here, everybody kind of knows what that is. That's the ball joint. That little sucker likes to go bad too. Um, last thing to look for is up here in the top of the strut. You want to make sure 
your springs aren't cracked and that that top of that strut right there sits pretty well and just take this spring and kind of move it around and make sure it's not uh, having any motion or anything like that um, this side actually looks pretty good so we're going to move on to the other side this ball joint down here you can take this whole thing and usually do it by the uh, by the tie rod in here lift it up come back down if you hear kind of a clicking noise or anything like that or when the tires still on if you take your toes mine this car is just barely off the ground so if you take your toes and put them underneath the tire and lift up like this if you get a little bit of motion there uh, and you'll be able to hear it <clears throat> like a clicking or clunking uh, it's time to replace that ball joint now this suspension setup is pretty simple straightforward GM uses this a lot it's called a McPherson strut suspension um, single control arm so all you have is uh, is uh, the strut mount here and the strut mount up here that pivots it allows the wheel to turn you got one tie rod in, one ball joint, and one control arm. <clears throat> this little guy back here, for those that don't know, that's the axle shaft, okay? Uh, so, real basic setup on this. Uh, the other thing you want to look for is torn boots. So, these rubber boots right here, if they're in rough shape, cracked, cut. Um, obviously, if there's any grease coming out of those or anything, just double check all those things and make sure that's all that suspension. Uh, is tight. Now we're on the passenger side. So let's take a look at the same stuff here. Spring looks okay. Inner and outer tie rod seems to be okay. Boot seems to be okay. All those mounts. This little stub mount. That seems to be all right. And then the sway bar, I think. That also seems to be okay. So last but not least, we're gonna throw the tire on here and then do the toes and check our lower ball joint. All right, I've got my toes underneath the tire. Just to show you how close this is, that's all it is right there. Barely off the ground. Toes are in here. You can also use a pry bar for this, or if you wanted to use a pry bar for the ball joint itself, um, you go in between the control arm and the steering knuckle. Uh, and on all you do is the same action here. You just lift up with your feet. That, cra that cracking is actually my ankle. I'm an old man. Um, this, is, this side of suspension also looks okay.